Mucormycosis, the blood fungus hitting COVID-19 patients. India is struggling against a rapid increase in COVID-19 cases, but a nasty and rare fungal infection affecting some coronavirus patients is dealing the country a double blow. Fungal infections can be devastating, and one in particular, mucormycosis, is adding to the burden of suffering a country already in a deep COVID-19 crisis. Many reports from India of infections with mucormycosis are often termed blood fungus in patients with COVID-19 or who are recovering from the coronavirus. Mucormycosis, which began to be reported in India, arrived in Uruguay, with the first case reported in an academic assembly of medicine in Montevideo. A man under 50 years of age and with diabetes who about 10 days after infection with COVID-19 began to present necrosis, tissue death, in the mucosal area and that through a laboratory test it was confirmed that he had also been infected with the black fungus. The 50-year-old man COVID-19 infection had not been serious and did not even require hospitalization, but about 10 days later the symptoms of the fungus infection began. Although mucormycosis is known by that name, the adjective does not refer to the color of the fungus, but to what it causes, the death of body tissue. Biden will meet Putin on June 16 in Geneva. President Joe Biden will meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin on June 16 in Geneva, the White House said. Of course, you've seen uh, the statement we put out this morning confirming that uh, President Biden will be meeting with President Putin in Geneva, as you said, on June 16th. The Kremlin confirmed the meeting. The announcements come less than a week after Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov held cautious face-to-face -face talks in Iceland. That meeting was the highest level in-person talks yet between Washington and Moscow under the Biden administration. Issues in the summit meeting are expected to include the ransomware attack on colonial pipeline and U.S. sanctions over the Kremlin's treatment of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Peru's Shining Path killed 16, including children. 16 people, including at least two children, have been killed in a rebel attack in Peru, the country's defense minister has confirmed. The far-left Shining Path guerrilla group says it was behind the attack. It left pamphlets at the scene ordering people not to vote in the upcoming presidential election. The government says the Shining Path has since turned into a criminal group engaged in drug trafficking. A local official said he had been alerted to an attack in the village of San Miguel del Eni on Sunday evening local time. He said he found bodies thrown across the floor of two bars on opposite banks of a small river. He told local media that the bodies had bullet holes and that some of them, including those of two children, had been burned. A initial report spoke of 18 bodies, which was later revised down to 14. But Defense Minister Nuria Sparge said that following the arrival of the security forces at the site on Monday, she could confirm that 16 people had been killed. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our social networks. See you again next week.